Hi, this is Latin. Hope everyone is staying safe, and I'm back. After a month of being away from the videos, dealing with life, I'm back with a new series, the new strategy, guys, for success. We'll get into it all after the intro. We're here in the dashboard. We're at beta 1.7.34, which came out of April 14, 2024. You can read here what's the new content, changes, and fixes at the dashboard store here. What we're going to do is we're going to start a new game. We're going to cover company setup, logos, names, founders setup, skills, specialization, stars, and then select the rental to get our offices all set up next episode let's go to new game okay so we're going to start with one two three four select your first one load your character select your second one load your character select your third we're going to load our character roadie and finally we're going to load our last character which is going to be Thea. this is the way we're set up al and roadie will be the programmers in the team. Ava and Thea are going to be designers. First, we got to do select the name, select the logo. What I want to do is see what logos are out there. I like this logo, which I like better. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, we're going to go with this logo. I click download to download it. We're going to change colors here, this one. Okay, that's going to be our new logo. So we selected the company name. We selected the logo. We selected our founders. Now we got to edit our founders. I think for Al, um, he's basically big brain. I have a watch, walking stat, programming, three stars in systems, two stars in 2D, and two stars in audio. In order to do system 2D, system audio in the beginning game, some applications require only one star. Most of them require two stars. So in order to not fall behind, two stars. None of them are going to require three stars. Three stars is the boost. So you get three in system, two in 2D, two in audio. That's the way Al is set up. That's the way Road is set up. Designers are set up the opposite way. Three system programming, two 2D programming, and two audio programs. So they're able to cover any audio, any 2D, or any system development. Now the first two have two stars in 2D for art, and one star in audio for art. Rody, and Teresa have the opposite. And Rody and Teresa are supposed to have the opposite. Apparently, nobody told Teresa that. If I click this, click that. So these guys have the opposite. So we're covered across the board. Now, Al and Rody all said we're going to go to a. We want to make her visionary right off the bat. I want a visionary. I want very little these skills. In fact, let me give her full these skills. And what we're going to do is we're going to move this a tad forward give her all these design skills across the board everything else stays the same leadership skills i want three in automation we'll get to that later service three in marketing we'll get to that later that's important in later gameplay okay so she's all set up except for i want her to do games full focus on games visionary full focus on games full two this she has an additional two stars left over which we will apply later and when you get to 3D networking, you'll get additional stars. Okay, she's all set. We're going to mirror that with Thea. Visionary across the board, games. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my mind. We're going to do system. I'm going to leave her with system. I'm going to have her do all games. And I'm going to move this design a little forward just enough to give her all design skills across the board because she is big brain. Big brain gives you additional points super focus all my designers i go for super focus even when i'm hiring designers for research super focus and the freak is fine let's double check her leader automation perfect service marketing perfect so well, what i want them to do is they're gonna need design programming leadership skills and they're gonna need service marketing skills not so much art but there's no need there's no sense in pushing this back because it's not going to push anything forward here this guy is fine 
he's not going to be a leader, so that's fine. And we want him to do service, multitasking, service, marketing. I'm going service marketing across the board. That's my strategy in there. Here, with Rody, he's not going to be doing leader. He's not going to be doing service, so we could push this back. All right, we don't need, so we could push this back. So he's got four programming skills. I could just leave all of these the same. Let's leave them all the same and get the full effect across the board. Remove these, these are changed. So you got to check everything again, marketing across the board. Okay, so that's, that's that. Up. Medium difficulty is what the default. Beginners, if you hit here, read this, this is important. Beginner, easy, medium is the default. New players. My suggestion, play medium. New play is my suggestion. Your first playthrough, play with one founder, and you get the mechanics of the game, then you can move forward. I'm going to put this on hard difficulty, but we're going to go custom. And what's important here in hard difficulty is initial market recognition importance is high. Effective marketing recognition on sales is medium. Now, marketing boost window before release date, two years. Keep this in mind, this will be important later on. We're on hard difficulty, so that's all. A lot of you know I don't play hard difficulty, I play custom. The only thing I'm going to change here is burglars and fires. You don't need those when you're starting out. You don't need those in the beginning games because they're just going to be a hindrance. Take them off until you learn the mechanics, learn how to set up, and I'll show you how to set up later on for burglaries and fires. Right now we're into just first other business is making money. We're on hard difficulty. We're going to start with 10,000. You could change any of these, customize your own game, but that's the only thing I'm going to change. No burglars and no fires. So we're going to select some place to start. Most people start in the garage. Some people start in the apartment. We're going to start in our own software city rentals 2024. I've modified this building once again. For this playthrough, we'll get into it now. Okay, here we are. First order business, stop the clock. Immediately stop the clock. We have $10,000 to set up. One, two, three, four. Why four? Remember what we did to our employees. Ava, private office royalties and IP ownership. So she needs a private office. Thea, details. Private office royalties and IP ownership. She needs a private office. So that being said, we need three offices. This is my building. When I built it, I selected one, two, three, four offices. I start with $10,000. I have four offices. Perk number one. Perk number two, I have a SCM server in this building, which is free. You can't change it. You can't update it. You can't do anything. You can use it until it dies, and it will die in maybe five years. That's the head start you get in this building. This building will be updated to the Steam Workshop and replace the building that's there now with the same name because I've made these offices smaller to accommodate. We'll get into setting these offices up, setting our teams up, and setting everything else off in our next playthrough. Stay safe. Keep those around you safe. Latin out. <laughs>